Did you know that the CAN bus uses two-wire differential signaling for reliable communication? This helps in reducing noise and supports long distances. The typical setup is a linear bus topology, where all devices are connected in sequence with termination resistors at each end to prevent signal reflections. Signal levels are crucial. A dominant state is represented by CAN H around 3.5V and CAN L around 1.5V, while both lines sit at about 2.5V for the recessive state. The maximum bus length is up to 40 meters at 1 Mbps and longer distances require a lower baud rate to maintain communication integrity. Common bus issues can arise from incorrect termination, stub length violations, and ground loops, which can disrupt reliable communication. A proper understanding of the physical layer ensures stable CAN communication, allowing devices to interact without disruptions. Next up, we'll dive into CAN message format comparing standard and extended frames. Stay tuned for more insights. Understanding the difference between standard and extended frames is crucial for effective CAN bus communication. Let's explore this in our next video.